Hello and thanks for joining me on this video as I do the unboxing and a small preview on the REI Flash Air 2 tent. Yeah, so I bought this tent uh, specifically for a trip we're doing to the Swiss Alps in June. We're doing a small section of the Via Alpina Trail and we needed a lightweight two-person tent for me and my brother Mark to uh, take on a multi-day hike. So for the price of this, uh, we thought it fit the bill. So this came from the REI online shop and the price of the tent was around $174 and in UK pounds it works out to about £149. Um, it came with free international shipping but the only downside because we live in the UK uh, there's a custom duty charge of £59 UK pounds so bringing the total to this tent the price is about £208 so for, it's for the free season um, lightweight backpacking non free freestanding tent we thought it was a good deal so uh, let's start the unboxing I'm quite excited about this because uh, a new tent day is always a, a good day so I love buying new gear Yeah, so the package weight of this tent is about get rid of that two pound eight ounces, and that works out to about one point one three four kilos, and the minimum trail weight without the poles uh, is about. 879 grams so yeah it's pretty lightweight and what we're going to do we're going to split the weight in half so or almost in half or whatever way we can do it so Mark will carry the, the pegs and um, or the stakes and the, uh, the cross supports and I'll carry the main body of the tent so yeah the pack the pack um, the pack size of this tent is approximately 16 inches so uh, let's take it out of the bag and the colour of this tent is called mountain moss and I believe that is the only um, colour of this tent available at the moment because this tent is, uh, is, is being discontinued Instructions. Right. There's yeah, a single, single walled hybrid tent. So, uh, Show you what we get. So you get six dark aluminium stakes with uh, pullers on the top, 
and it comes with four extra diodes. Too, the packaging. So so what I'll do when I'm unpacking it is I'll put all the technical specs on the screen for you to see. Right, so there's the pegs, sorry, the, the poles, the main body of the tent. So you've got one pole that slots into the, um, the foot end uh, of the tent. You've got these two hub sections for one each side of the door. And these are uh, DAC aluminium, all the same material. And you get two two poles. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna probably use trekking poles. Obviously to cut down the weight, there's the poles. And there is your if you've got a breakage on your pole, there is your um, repair sleeve. So yeah, that's all the tent unwrapped. I've got to be fair, I do like, I do like the colour of this. And so far, I'm really impressed with the quality. So yeah, like this, this tent is half price. And I'll put the price on the screen as well, for you to have a look at. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's, um, let's set it up and uh, let's look at this tent in more, in more detail. So I just popped into my garden. Um, I've put a, a footprint down so I don't get the bottom of my new tent dirty or any things should puncture the bottom of it. Um, I know area I come up do a optional footprint for this tent at a price of sixty dollars or fifty UK pounds. So we're not going to go into uh, great detail, it's just a preview and a first impressions of this tent and this is going to be the first pitch. So I'm going to go through the instructions which you find inside the bag and I'll follow step by step and you'll see it when it's up. So that's the first attempt at pitching this tent and I haven't done a bad job of it to, to be fair. Um, more practice. I think I can get it looking better. But um it's a it's a strange shape. I haven't seen a tent like this before. You peg out the four corners of the tent first with a grey cord. And then you put the um, the poles or, or the tracking poles in, and you basically put the um, the orange cord over the peg which is holding that one in, and just basically tighten it all up all around. So the first thing you, you've got to put in first. The very first thing is this pole in the end and it's quite tight to get in there. You put it into this sleeve first and then put the bottom bit into the grommet and it's quite tight so that was a bit of a challenge but it's in now and it looks, looks good. Yeah so this tent comes with four extra guy lines and if you see the end yeah, it goes into the loop and when you 
pull it out or just hook into there. Um, you can put these in various parts of the tent depending on what wind direction you have. So you could either put on the back, each side. Um, this side or the other side and, and there where I've got it now so that's the options you have another thing I like about this tent as well is the rain fly has already been um, sealed with tape So that'll save me a job. I have done seam sealing before on my other tents, but um, it's a bit of a faff, so this has already been done, so that'll save me a job. First impressions. I like the size of it. Another cool feature of this tent, depending on the weather, if you've got a nice dry weather and clear clear skies you can actually pull this rain fly back to reveal the top part of the mesh on the tent and you can actually go do a bit of stargazing or have some great views from our tent so yeah that's another cool another cool feature as you can see we've used a trekking pole option because that's probably what we're, well we are definitely going to do it because uh, like I said we are going on the Vier Alpina so that sits into that hub but there's another slot there that, that would take the pull to come with the tent so yeah we got trekking pole that side and one on that side Another thing I'm impressed with straight away is the height of the bathtub floor. That's a good six inches or thereabouts. Yeah, so that's the exterior of the tent. So we'll take a look at the inside. And the most important thing, see if it's big enough for me and Mark on our future adventures. Let's take a look. So I'm sat inside the tent now. Um, and the first thing I'm pleased about is the actual headroom. From the top of my head to the ridge of the tent. It's quite a bit, I'm five foot eight. And probably got a good nine inches from my head to the top of the ridge. It says on the REI Co-op technical specs, um, it's about 42 inches from the, the ground to the top of the ridge. So yeah, for my height, it's, uh, it's ideal. Take a look around at the foot end of the tent. Looks like there's plenty of room. Um, from the floor to the top of the, the roof part. And as we pan the camera around, There's a loop there, one there, some options to hang a lamp up there. Um, the only thing is this tent lacks is storage space. You've got a pocket outside. And one that side. Being as it's a two man tent, you've got two doors, one each side, and there's two way zippers as well. So, obviously, we'll be using this for backpacking, and we're going to need some of the store our backpacks overnight. Um, unless we can fit them down the end, below our sleeping pads. I'll, I'll see in a minute because I'm going to put a sleeping pad in here and see how much room we have with that. 
but the only option we have really otherwise is outside and that the vestibules are quite high off the ground so in in bad weather it could be an issue with rain going underneath I don't know but we're not going to know until we've actually tried this tent out so that's just an observation but on the plus side with a high vestibule off the floor we should have a nice free flow of air coming from one side of the tent to the other the tent also has two vents one each side next to the door I'll just show you the vent in a bit more detail there's a the velcro simply pops up into that position and hopefully that'll stop any uh, condensation build up inside yeah so just to show you um, I've just taken the trekking pole out which goes in that slot like I've shown you and I've put the, the supplied one of the supplied poles in the other slot just to show you how, how that goes in and that bottom of it goes into that grommet and uh, it's always an option if you want to use the poles instead of the trekking poles yeah so I'm quite pleased I just put my Thermarest sleeping pad in here and I'm happy to say that we'll get two easily in here side by side albeit a bit cosy um, if I pan the camera around you can see I've got a pack at the end um, if push comes to shove and the weather gets pretty bad we have to bring them in here the only issue I, I've got is touching the, um, the top of the tent so condensation could be an issue but we have to um, try it out and see how we get on with it um, so yeah you can see the end of the pad there pull the pack out you probably got about I don't know maybe a foot at the end of the sleeping pad so yeah I think it's doable so I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and short preview of this REI Co-op Flash Air 2 tent. We're going to be trying this out now in the next few months in different weather conditions to see how it performs. Hopefully we'll do a review um, after we've used it for a while and see how we got on with it. If you um, would like to see further videos, which we do, or our adventures in this tent on the trail, consider subscribing to the channel. So yeah, we're going to enjoy this tent now in the next few months and uh, we'll see how we get on with it. Catch you on the trail. Thanks for watching.